Good morning YouTube. For the last uh, three to four months I've had the great pleasure of uh, using these three different phones. I went back and forth between the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One and then when Android 4.3 was released uh, I used stock 4.3 on the Nexus 4 for a couple of weeks. But today I'm going to switch gears again because it's Friday September 20th which means it is iPhone day specifically iPhone 5s release day I'm really excited about this phone because um, it's got the 64-bit processor and I'm very excited to check out how this fingerprint scanner works okay so the Apple box is packed very nicely uh, it's a pretty small box with the uh, iPhone 5s written on either side and the Apple logo at the top and the bottom okay let's open it up Yeah, look at that. That is fantastic. So it's like a titanium color now. It's significantly lighter than uh, how it looked last year. No scratches on my phone this year. Wow, that looks awesome. Let's take the plastic off. That feels awesome. Good click to the home button still. Okay, let's take a look quickly at what else is in the box. The box looks the same as the iPhone 5 box did last year. Earphones and a charger. And very simple instruction, instruction cards, and an Apple sticker. Quite excited to use the new camera. Let's turn it on. While it's turning on, let me get my SIM card ready too. You know, last year when I um, uploaded my iPhone 5 unboxing to my YouTube channel, I got some criticism back why am I using an iPhone if this is an Android channel. Well I like to keep track of how well Android is doing. And for me to know how well Android is doing, I need to know what iOS is doing. So, Which is pretty much what I said last year. Besides, I don't get to use the, the iPhone for that long even. Last year I planned to use the iPhone for a month, but I lasted about 10 days before I needed to go back to Android. This time also I plan to use it only for about a month or so. Let's see if I last. I don't have that much time anyway until the Nexus 5 comes out. Slide to set up. Set up a new iPhone. Sign in with your Apple ID. Don't use iCloud. I like... Dropbox. All right. Touch ID set up now. This is the part I was really looking forward to seeing. Set up fingerprint. Scan the finger or thumb you normally use on the home button. Lift and rest your finger on the home button repeatedly. Success. Touch ID is ready. Your print can be used for unlocking your iPhone. Create a passcode. Okay. 
Welcome to iPhone. Get started. I'm up and running. Okay, let's open the camera. Okay. I love the new camera interface. Yeah, that's awesome. If I want to get into the phone. Just like that. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm excited to play with this phone some more and use it as my phone for uh, the next few weeks until uh, the Nexus 5 with Kitty Cat comes out. Thanks for watching.